Shalom. Thanks for talking to Dr. Keith Chief, giving all praise to Jehovah, Shem, and Messiah, and Shem, and And I'm going to entitle this video, Bring Forth, Therefore, Fruit, Meat for Repentance. And this is, uh, this video is going to, it's not going to be a long video. This is a video that was put up by Rocha Malone entitled Hebrew Israelite Forced to Be Quiet. So I'm 20 seconds in. You know what I'm going to do? Let me start, and I hope you can hear it. I'll start from the very beginning. It's only a little bit more than seven minutes long. So we'll listen. I haven't previewed this video, so I'm listening to this video, watching this video for the first time, just like you are. So let's see where the spirit takes, takes us. And the reason why I, uh, okay, the, the, the eight verses, Matthew 3, verse 8, bring forth therefore uh, fruit, fruits, meat for repentance. Let me start from uh, the fifth verse. It says, then went out to him, I'm sorry, let me start from, okay, it says the preaching, the preaching of John the Baptist, all right, in those, in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea, why was he preaching in Judea, because Israelites lived in Judea, John the Baptist came for the Israelites. Remember, this thing started small. John the Baptist being the forerunner before Yahweh Shai came on the scene, which is prophesied in the book of Isaiah, in the book of Malachi, it says, and saying, repent ye, who is he talking to? He was talking to the Israelites. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now I'm going to show you in Matthew 10 that the kingdom of heaven is only for Israel. This is only for Israel. For this is, for this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Who is the voice of one crying in the wilderness? The fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy is John the Baptist. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. And the same John had his remnant of camel's hair and a leather gir girdle about his loins and his meat was locusts and wild honey. He ate locusts because he was out in the wilderness and locusts was available to him and locusts are a lawful thing to eat and wild honey. Then went out to him, Jerusalem and all of Yehawadah, Judea, and all the region round about Jordan and were baptized of him in Jordan. Bear with me for a minute. Six verse, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees, which are Israelites, and Sadducees, which are Israelites, come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? So there were certain Israelites that were appointed to be destroyed in this time. Bring forth, therefore, fruits, meat for repentance. So 
So if Vokad Malone ever read this scripture, he would leave the Israelites alone because all he focuses on are the Israelites. This is why we said he was, he was set up to demonize us. Now let's say he's actually coming because he doesn't want us to burn in hell, which hell is just the grave. The word hell just means grave, but Christians don't know that because they don't, they don't study the scriptures. The only ones that study the scriptures among Christians are the, are like the book writers, you know, the authors of these Christian books, you know, professors of uh, uh, these different theolog theological seminaries, or they call, I call them cemeteries because they don't have the truth. They have some truth though. They'll, they'll write books on uh, uh, the gospel, then they'll go on to the Greek, that's something the average Christian doesn't do. That's why when you speak about the word hell, they've been taught by their pastors, their ministers, their preachers, whatever, that, that the priests, that if you're not right with the Lord, you don't repent, you're going to burn in hell. And that's not in the scriptures. That's, that's nowhere in the scriptures. Now, there's a parable in Luke uh, 6 to 16 chapter about the rich man and Lazarus. That was a parable. Hell is the grave. The word hell from, from the, uh, the Greek is Hades, which means the grave. In the Old Testament, hell, the Hebrew word uh, for hell is uh, Sha'al, which means the grave. So this guy, Vocab, insists that there's an actual place called hell. And he's, and he's uh, you know, he's a teacher of some sort but he was trained in a theological cemetery. Okay, so he should understand that when you try to bring the gospel to somebody, whether it be a group of people, whether it be a certain location, and they don't accept it, this, the gospel says, our Lord says, shake the dust off of your feet and never come back to them. Because ultimately they're gonna receive a worse damnation than Sodom and Gomorrah. The scripture doesn't say, if you go to a particular group, let's say the Israelites, which he does, and they reject you, just keep on, keep on going out there because eventually they're gonna crack and they're gonna become Christians. And this is why we know he was set up. He answers to people over him to call himself debunking this truth. Because if he was really about the gospel of the Messiah, which he calls Christ, he would, I'm pretty sure he read the scripture. The key verse is sixth verse. I'm sorry, not the sixth verse, eighth verse. It says, but, the, but, when, but when he saw many of the uh, Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth, therefore, fruit, meat for repentance. So obviously, these scribes and these Pharisees, I'm sorry, these Pharisees and these Sadducees were not meat for repentance. He said, look, you're not going to make it. The Lord is not dealing with you. You're, you're not, you cannot repent. You are slated and marked to be to suffer the wrath to come. Let me look up the word wrath. Wrath, excuse me. And you phony Israelites out there, you spies, you agents, you know, how do you, how do you guys sleep at night? knowing that you're doing the, the bidding of the devil. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna suffer a horrific uh, death. Okay, so the word there from the Greek, let me let you hear it. Strong G, 3709. Arge. Arge. If you're going to play with anybody, the most high, the supreme power of the universe is nothing to play with. 
You don't play with the heavenly father. You don't play with his son. You don't play with this gospel. You don't pretend like you're in the gospel because the most high will destroy you. The most high is a jealous God. And, the, and your how about show me how shy he's going to do damage on you people that rejected this truth. He's going to do major damage, not us, the most high, the, the supreme power. Your how about show me how shy about show me how is going to bring extreme judgment on you Israelites that have not accepted this truth. You're already uh, slated and marked to, to, to get that mark, to get the MOTB. A lot of you think that this is a joke. This is, this is serious. What we're into is serious. When I heard this word, I was serious about doing this thing. Why you think we out there all winter long every year? Why you think we out there week after week after week? Why are we constantly making videos? Because we fear the most high. You pretend it's out there, the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai got something for you. You're going to get the same punishment that Esau is going to get. The scripture said there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. See, this guy, Vocab Malone, he doesn't respect this truth. And the most, the, the, the most high power and his beloved son got something for him. And all you Christians out there and you Edomites, Let me listen to this word again. Strong G, 3709. Fargate. Fargate. So let's see what it means. Okay, John spoke about them, that they're, they're, they're slated to receive this uh, uh, wrath. So the word means anger, the natural disposition temper, a character, movement, or agitation of the soul, impulse, desire, any violent emotion, but especially anger, talking about the most highest anger, anger, wrath, indignation. Indignation means justifiable uh, anger. Indign for example, let's say you rob some man's mother. When he sees you, he's not going to say, just give me the money back and everything's a beat. Give me, give, me, give me the purse back. He's looking to kill you. And then when the cops find out, they'll let him go because it's justifiable anger, indignation. It says anger uh, exhibited in punishment, hence used for punishment itself or punishment inflicted by magistrates, which means judges. So keep playing with the most high, keep playing with the most high, keep playing with this book, keep being a part-time Israelite, keep being a spy and an agent for your master. You see what's going on in, in uh, the, Russia, the uh, Russian army's invading uh, the Ukraine, if it's real or not. All the wars that took place around the world. Look, war is not pretty. You know, you go to a movie and watch a war movie and you get all pumped up. And the real, and the real, and then you stupid motherfuckers go to these movies and then there's a war that breaks out. You go to that war, and you get both your legs broken. I mean, you're both your legs uh, 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 blown, blown off and you got a metal plate in your head and you come back to your wife. Guess what? While your wife is taking care of you, she's next door, you know, riding somebody's uh, uh, a lollipop. She gonna play that dutiful wife and she's really gonna hate you inside but she's going to be with some other dude, guaranteed. If you can't get it up no more and your legs are gone and your face is burnt, that's, how, that's war, man. And you can't, and this, what's getting ready to come is Jacob's trouble. And when the most high, 
through his by the power by his son through his son or the most high giving his son the power the it says he shall scream like a travailing woman when the lord come back he's coming back to kill all you people out there that have been playing games all you people that turn your back all of you that turn your back uh on the plow because there's a a brother that kind of disappeared for a couple of months and he wants to come back in. You know, another brother told me about it. Well, guess what? He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. So you shouldn't even come out. You shouldn't even come out. You're not going to make it. You're a grown man. You, you, you disappeared for, for going on three months and now all of a sudden you want to come back. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You turn your back on the plow of the most high. You're not a kid. The apostle Paul said, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I acted as a child, I did things as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. You being a man in this thing, accepting the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and then turn your back on this. There's no breaks in this thing. There's no breaks in this thing. There's no such thing of, as a hiatus. There's no such thing as retiring. All of you that took this thing, uh, didn't take this thing seriously and didn't respect Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai being a jealous power is going to kill you and your family. The Most High is not going to play around. Now you got this clown vocab Malone constantly coming against the Israelites where he's clearly going against the gospel let's bring it back bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance why did he say that because he saw the Pharisees and the, and the Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, that's a poisonous snake, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Because you're not supposed to get the message to flee from the wrath to come, because you're slated to be destroyed. And wh when is their destruction going to come? Now. This happened over 2,000 years ago, they're getting ready to receive their damnation in this lifetime. The scripture said there should be, there should be wailing and gnashing of teeth. The most high is not to be played with. Are you out your fucking mind? The most high is not to be played with. And he don't have to get you. He can, he can get your children. I'm saying the most high can bring judgment to your children. He can bring judgment to your mother. He can bring judgment to your wife. And ultimately, he can bring judgment to you. You, you Israelites out there, look, look like, like I said, man, before, this debate Captain Zazariak is going to have with uh, uh, this guy, um, I forget his name, Muslim, Muslim dude, it will come back to me. They're going to have a debate. That's all about money. That's, that's entertainment. We don't debate nobody. If somebody comes on the street and debate, Debate happens, it happens, but we don't say, okay, we're gonna set a date, we're gonna have a debate. That's entertainment, man. We're not here to entertain you. If you can't get this truth, we're moving on. We're shaking the dust off our feet. And according to the gospel, that's what vocab is supposed to do. So let me uh, sh show you this thing. That's why when this guy rolled up on us, we didn't wanna deal with him. Did, did, did anybody from our side, the Israel side, say, you know what? Vocab is white. Right. Let me go follow him. Did anybody from his side come and follow? No. The Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, is clearly not dealing with them. And, and you notice how many times I said Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai, and not Jesus the Christ. You clowns out there, you clown ass Israelites calling on Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the white man. He ain't coming to save nobody. He looking to, he looking to get out of fucking town, man. 
You keep playing games. Keep playing games. Keep playing games with the supreme power of the universe. So a lot of you that think you're going to make it, you think you're going to make it because you have no fear. We call ourselves the hopeful elect. We hope in fear that we, we will be delivered. But you clowns, and another thing, all you guys that have went back into the world, you watch our videos, guess what? Every last one of you is going to taste that. You're going to eat some fire, man. You and your family, you're going to eat some fire. You're going to see the missiles coming out, the, out, out of the atmosphere and, you're gonna, and, your, and, your, and your life is going to pass, you know, before your eyes and you're going to see yourself going to the school, studying, going out on the highways and the byways. You're going to see yourself not going out on the highways and then the missiles are going to get you and, you, and you're going to say, now I know why I'm going to be destroyed. Let me go to this clown right here. Let me go to this clown. And if you notice, it's, it's a Hebrew Israelite force to be, be quiet. He just put the video up 11 hours ago. He got 1,223 hits. By who? By his, by his peanut gallery. And none of them have a scripture. There's not one scripture. Not one scripture. Not one scripture out of all these, because these so-called Christians, they don't read the scriptures. They don't study the scriptures. Not one scripture, not one scripture. Okay, this brother makes his state, uh, uh, comment, Michael Smith, Boca Malone, why don't you pick on the so-called Old Testament Israelites. We all know why, don't we, vocab? Just looking at these, uh, Okay, Carl Martin, what I, want, what I want to know is where in the Bible does it say that God is going to give them the white man to be their slave? And he doesn't know because he doesn't know the Bible. And somebody puts in a C, 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 M, I, C, C, F. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Numbers 24, verse 16 and 18. He have said, which heard the, vo the words of the Most High and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty fallen. This is Balaam. And I bet you a Christian don't. If I, if I go to Numbers 24, I say, who's, who's this guy right here that he's talking about? Is it talking about Jesus Christ? Maybe it's talking about the Antichrist. They do not know the scriptures. But having his eyes open, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, which is our Lord, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Seth. And Edom, that's the white man, Edom, the Edomites, shall be a possession, Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies and Israel shall do valiantly. A possession is something that someone owns. So we are gonna own slaves. And the reason why you don't know what scripture to go to because you don't read the scriptures. They're, the, they're basically the deaf adder that stop at their ear. Okay, this is be faithful. Uh, garbage, I live right there too. Let me know next time you plan to go Saturdays or whatever 
over there. I'll meet you there so I can help you openly rebuke them. I am afraid to go because I'll be tempted to, to the flesh real talk. Now, it says in Romans, the eighth chapter, the eminent, um, uh, what is, I, I can go to it. It speaks about enmity, uh, the carnal man. Matter of fact, let me go to it. Romans, Romans 8. Okay, Romans 8 and 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity with the most high. So this guy right here, let me come back to him. He said, I'm afraid to go because I'll be tempted in the flesh, real talk. So this man, the scriptures say, con the carnal minded is enmity to be an enemy to the most high. So this guy right here is an enemy to the most high. Okay, this is preach the word ministries. It's not that they don't want to talk, but they don't want to talk to you. Right. They don't want to talk to you. Nobody, no Israelite wants to deal with vocab alone because we had, we deem him to be a clown. Okay, this is uh, Eddie Dunn, Dun, whatever, however you say it. The Hebrew assassins cut, tail, and run when vocab shows up. Now, the scriptures speak about shaking your dust, dust, the dust off your feet. Okay, this is, listen to this. These, I'm going to be so happy when the Most High destroys these people. These fake ass Christians. The real Christians are Israelites, by the way. This is word of truth with Denja, whatever. It's a BHI for Black Hebrew Israelite. Same answer. Either way, you are not going into slavery. Wait, wait a minute. Either way, you are going into slavery. Such a cop out. That's not a cop out. That's a, a fulfillment of prophecy. It has nothing to do with a cop out. These people are out of their fucking minds. Like I said, look at the not one. Sometimes you, after maybe 10, 11, 12 uh, uh, comments, you'll get, a, you'll get an actual precept. Oh, well, here's one. Got a precept right here. A couple of precepts. So out of what, 20, 30, uh, 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 comments, you only got one guy actually quoting the scriptures. Christ, uh, Christianity Commons. Hebrew Israelites leaders be like, we're not a cult, but you can't talk to critic, critics of our belief. Okay, so now let me li let, let's listen to a little bit of this. So, vocab, are they going to go to hell for calling somebody? Huh? Are they going to go to hell for calling somebody?
Well, I mean, if you're there, you can either pack up and leave, you don't want to deal with it, or you can stick around and deal with it because you're defending the gospel. You know, ultimately when vocab rolled on us, we didn't want to deal with him. And then we started dealing, we started going, cause he wasn't going to leave anytime soon. All right. So every time I, I try to teach, they over talked us. So we said, let's have a dialogue. All right. But what these brothers right here should have did was go ahead and have a dialogue and cut them. Resist the devil and he shall free, flee from, from you. See, now I'm going to say this. When Vocad rolled up on us, you know, it, 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 we shook hands and, you know, you guys have a good night and so forth. You know, bid them Godspeed or whatever the case may be. Devil speed. As soon as uh, they turned the corner, we saw a fleet of about 60 to 70 so-called UFO chariots. As soon as the last man turned that corner on that block, Let me let me let you listen to some more. What's up, y'all? My name is Joe Cameron. I'm a Christian. I'm a city contact. Street, you run into some beautiful abused militants, and now that variety. The the reason why they roll up on the one westers is because we have the truth. We know who Esau is. We know that this place is going to be destroyed. We know they, they don't like the fact that we're, we're teaching and they're backing it up with the scriptures that these people are going into captivity. One scripture comes to mind, uh, uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 16. It said, every one of them. As a matter of fact, let me read it. Let me read it. Uh, Jeremiah 30. Verse 16. Therefore, all they that, that devour thee shall be devoured. What does the word devour mean? Let's look it up real quick. Devour. A cow, which means eat. To eat, devour, burn up, feed, to eat. to be waste, destroyed, you know, come, come up against us. Put us in slavery, kill us. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, shall go into captivity, and they, sh and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all, thy prey, all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Didn't, let's deal with Esau. Didn't he not prey upon us? So he's going to get preyed upon. Did he not put us into captivity? He's going to go into captivity. See, now, when you show vocab, this precept right here, oh, that was talking about another time. No, it's, it's a future prophecy. Let me pull out a word. Let me pull out the word captivity. H7628. Shabya, which means captivity, captive, state of captivity, act of capture, captives, captive. Oh, this is a good one. Deuteronomy 21, verse 10. When thou goest forth to war against the, the enemies, and Yahweh thy power have delivered them, the enemies, into thine hands, 
and thou hast taken them captive. And then it goes on to say, and you see a woman that you desire to be with, you can take that woman. But there's certain laws that you that apply to that. You can't just rape her on the battlefield. You got to bring her home. You got to take off the clothes of her captivity. You got you got to shave her head and pair her nails. Let her mourn her parents for 30 days. Then you can go unto her and she becomes your wife. The word wife is from the Hebrew word um, ayasha, which means woman. Deuteronomy 28, verse 41, thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. That's talking about uh, slavery, roots, man, bingo, drum. Uh, and uh, so if we went into slavery under this man, guess what? They're going to have to go into slavery under us. There's a thing called reincarnation. Second Chronicles 28, verse 17, for again, the Edomites had come and smitten Judah and carried away captives. So there's plenty of scriptures. On uh, dealing with the word captivity. There it goes, 30 and 16. So anyway, let's come back. Okay, right here. Yeah, he pro proclaimed the gospel to who? The Israelites. Let's get another basic, simple scripture. Matthew 10. Five and six. These twelve, these twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth. It says Jesus, but the word there is Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded him, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Don't teach the Gentiles. And into now, why later in the uh, the New Testament you, you, the Gentiles receive blessings? Because it's obvious that the Gentiles, like in the book of Romans, in the book of Gal uh, Galatians, and the other books where e Ephesians, where it speaks about the Gentiles. It's talking about Israelites that didn't know that they were Israelites at the time. Perfect example, Cornelius. We've gone over this over and over again. It says, and into any of the, the city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go except, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So this salvation is for who? The Israelites. And as ye go, among who? The Israelites. Preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Did not John say that? Let me come back a couple of. I want to come back to John. Give me a second. Okay. Matthew 3, verse 2, and saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So coming back to Matthew 10, the kingdom is at hand for who? The Israelites. I just read it. These people, these Christians are bugged out. They're bugged out in their mind. They don't know the scriptures and they're bugged out in their mind. 
So John came to preach the gospel to the Israelites in Judea, baptizing them for them to repent so they can receive the kingdom of heaven, right? These are obviously Israelites. John didn't come to all nations. It said, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as he go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For who? For the Israelites, not the Gentiles, not the Samaritans. Okay, the gospel according to one West Hebrew Israelites. Well, we teach things different from IUIC. We, the IUIC teach things different from the ISUPK and so forth and so on. That's why there's certain, there's different groups. He answered, he answered correctly. He said, we're going to do the same. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me hear that again. I got to hear that one more time. That's just, that's backed up by the scriptures. He that needeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. It's called reap what you sow. So you have to pay. That's from uh, Psalms uh, 137. What is that? 8, eight nine seven eight nine. Take their little ones and dash them against the stones, which he said that was the Babylonians that did that. So everything, everything that we say, we, we can back it up by the scriptures. Did you hear what he say? Did you hear what he said? Why don't you start right now? Well, we can't because the scriptures the scriptures say, let me bring it out. Wait ye. Upon, I hope I spell this right, upon me. Let's see what happens. Okay, let me come back. Let me try it this way. You, I hope, ah, wait a minute. Up, up. Yeah. Try it this way. Let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. Bear with me for a minute. I can't, I can't spell that. Okay. It was a. Uh, I don't know why I put it A, it was a U P O N. Uh, Zephaniah 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for, the, for all the earth shall be dev uh, devoured with the fire of my jealousy, all right? 
there's another precept. So he said, why don't you just do it now? Because we'd be out of order. Uh, Ezekiel 25 and 12. And it says right here, Edom. It says, which are you so-called Europeans, so-called white people. 12 verse, thus saith the, the Most High, the Lord, the Most High, because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and greatly of, and hath greatly offended and of revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman and they of Eden shall die by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance, this is the Lord speaking, upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord. And there's many scriptures I can bring out. Isaiah 11, uh, Isaiah 14, Isaiah uh, uh, Isaiah 13, Isaiah, uh, Zechariah, uh, 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 what is it, Zechariah 14, from 12 on down. The gospel is only for the children of Israel. The good news is only for the children of Israel. It's not for you other nations. Now, I believe this man, if I'm correct, is a Sicilian. Now, if he's actually a Sicilian and his line goes back to Israel, then he could very well be an Israelite. But guess what? He's a lost Israelite. Just like the rest of these guys around him. They're mostly Jake. And, and vocab is known for having a bunch of Jakes following them. We're not concerned about y'all people. If you can't get it, that's on you. You're going to be uh, destroyed along with your buddy Esau. Elon Musk is not broken hearted. Uh, Jeff Bezos is not broken hearted. Bill Gates is not broken hearted. Um, these super elite Edomites behind the scenes are not broken hearted. In other words, they're not cursed. Some stupid black bitch just got knocked out in the UFC. The Edomite chick hit her with an elbow. And not, you're, you're in a fucking embarrassment, man. Knock this black chick cold out. Let's listen to some more. It says this this 
guy right here, he down with vocab. Everybody is not captive to sin. Is everybody, is everybody born spiritually dead? And they don't even know what sin is. There's, 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 there's a spirit in them and they're spiritually dead, meaning they haven't come to the realization that they're Israelites because they're newborn babies. As Han would say in the movie Enter the Dragon, they are born knowing only life. Is there anybody that is captive uh, physically? Yes, we are. We're captive in this country and the other countries that we dwell in. The reason why we're here in America is because our four parents were chained up and, th and thrown on cargo slave ships. We were a commodity. We, are, we were a commodity. And we were, we were uh, brought over here to America and we're here to this very day to fulfill the prophecies because we're gonna be delivered out of this place. Revelation, Revelation 18 verse four. Of course, we're sinners. The Apostle Paul said that. Here, there's a black woman. She don't know us, but she's completely clueless. These people are, on this side are completely clueless. You got a Moabite over here, prepares to be a Moabite. You got a Jake over there. Vocab, make sure he gets our people to come against us. He's quoting uh, the Apostle Paul in Romans, the seventh chapter. So do we sin? Yes. Paul said he the things that I don't that 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 I don't want to do, that I do, which is not me that doeth, but sin that dwelleth in me. So did so did we sin after we repented? Yes. Until our bodies are changed. Well, then would he agree that Paul is a liar? Would he agree that Paul is a liar? Paul said in Romans the ninth chapter, I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. Was he a liar? Because in Romans 7, he said the thing that I don't want to do, that I do. It is not me that doeth it, but sin that dwelleth in me. But he commits the sin. He goes on to say, oh, wretched man that I am. So this guy's playing a word. A, he's playing hopscotch. With words. We are without sin in the eyes of the Most High. That's uh, Isaiah the sixth chapter. Uh, when when the angel took the coal and touched Isaiah's mouth. He, he was with he, he was made. I'm not going to read it, but he was made clean. He said, oh, he said, uh, I am undone. And in um, Revelation chapter 14. Let me get that. All basic scriptures that Christians don't know about. Revelation 14. Okay, it says Revelation 14, verse 1, and I looked, 
and lo, a lamb. The lamb represents Yahweh Shai, or as the Christians call him, Jesus, stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000 having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed, uh, brought back from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. How does the 144,000 follow the lamb whithersoever he go? Do the book. I am, spoke, I, am spoken in the, I am in the volume of the book that is spoken of me. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruit unto the Most High and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. Why? Because the Most High cleansed them. Let me go to Isaiah 6. I'll go right to the point. Okay, so when Isaiah saw the glory of the Lord and the angels, he said uh, in the fifth verse, then said I, Isaiah, woe is me, for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips, meaning he was a man that had sin on him. He was a defiled man. He wasn't a perfect uh, man in the, in the midst of the Lord and the angels because they come perfect. They are without sin. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphim unto me, having a live coal in his hand. Coal represents the purification. When you get a, a water filter, the active ingredient is, a, is coal or charcoal, which he had taken with the tongues from, the, from off the altar, and he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity, sins, is taken away, and thy sin purged. So now, let's come back to this right here. So are we sinners? Yes, of course we are. Um, are we forgiven for those sins? Yes. Do we try our best not to break laws? Yes. Let's listen up. Yeah, that's why, yep, we are liars. We're not perfect because that's why we got to teach the most high's word. We can't say this is going to happen or Esau is not going into slavery because we don't have the truth. It said, let every, it says that the most high, Romans 3, let the most high be true and every man a liar. Until we are made perfect, until we are made perfect. These people don't repent. These people right here. I'm sorry. If these people right here don't repent, the Most High is going to destroy every last one of them. He doesn't know what's going on. He, he does, he's regurgitating what he learned from either vocab or some theological cemetery. 
If they were really about the gospel, they would go to other places. They wouldn't just focus on Israelites. Okay, it says, I appreciate that y'all have been respectful, not like certain camps, inaudible. Well, you know what? We don't respect you because you don't respect the most high. Okay? going to burn in hell for doing that they're going to they're going to burn in hell according to vocab they're going to burn burn in hell because they called uh, uh this guy i'm not saying he said that but that's what he's thinking they, they just committed a sin this man is set up by his his uh the, the people that are over him to 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 make the one West is not all Israelites because he doesn't deal with the Old Testament Israelites because he knows they don't, they don't know what the hell is going on. Let's listen to a little bit more. So the laws is how we we are born again. No, we're born again from the Messiah dying off the, dying on the cross. Okay, that's what Nicodemus. That's what the Lord told the Nic Nicodemus in John three that you must be born again. Okay, so that's it, and I'm going to close on that. Shalom.